All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be breaking down the full Extreme Z Awakening and Extreme Z battle event details for the LR, Rose, and Zamasu, as well as the LR, Trunks, and Mai, both of which are going to be dropping on Global in less than uh, 12 hours from now. Now between the two, I think it's no secret that most people are more excited for the Rose and Zamasu, so we'll definitely start with them. And taking a look at the Extreme Z battle event here, the release date is December 21st, 2022, which is tomorrow. The effective link, as always, for these LR Extreme Z battle events is Legendary Power, and the effective category is Battle of Fate. And then moving over to the actual levels, we have 10 levels for the medals, some orbs, and also some Kai's and you're getting three dragon stones for clearing each level. So once you complete all 10 levels, you'll get 45 awakening medals, five uh, tech grand kais, as well as 30 dragon stones, and also enough tech orbs to rainbow a tech unit. And there's also an additional mission, which gives three dragon stones for clearing stage seven once. So in total, that's 33 dragon stones and uh, all the other stuff as well. So that's the Extreme Z battle event. Now let's jump over to the actual unit and uh, we'll start with their pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes, right? So before the EZA, the leader skill is tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, 12 key super causes colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns, and then the 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. Passive recovers 15% HP at the start of turn and then attack plus 30% with each attack received up to 120%. So obviously the glaring omission here from their passive is the fact that they don't have any defense, right? They do get some defense on the 12 and 18 key supers, but it really wasn't enough. I think they maxed out at like... Um, I don't know the actual number, but I believe it was like under 200k, even fully stacked up. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I just remember they were very, very not tanky, even fully stacked up. But it's not a surprise considering when they first came out, I mean, June of 2017 on JP, October 2017 on Global, so it makes sense. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, their new leader skill becomes... Tech types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, uh, 12 key super, raises attack for 1 turn, causes colossal damage, and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns, and then 18 key super, raises attack for 1 turn, causes mega colossal damage, and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. So relatively similar there aside from the uh, attack increase, the defense for 3 turns and 6 turns is the same as before, right? Now, the new passive is recovers 15% HP, key plus 2, and defense plus 50% at the start of turn, plus an additional key plus 2, defense plus 50%, and guards all attacks for 3 turns from start of turn, and then attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 4, and attack and defense plus 30% up to 120% with each attack received. So, uh, that is basically the LR, Rose, and Zamasu guys. Obviously, the stats don't change with the Extreme Z Awakening because it is for an LR, but uh, they, you know, have very good stats regardless. 18,730 HP, 22,545 attack, and 14,125 defense at rainbow status. And um, this is just a really, really powerful EZA, guys. I think some people still consider them to be currently the best uh, EZA in the game right now. There are contenders, of course, for that title, like uh, the LR Final Form Cooler, for example, but, sorry, not LR, the STRTUR Final Form Cooler is definitely a contender for that crown, but these guys are close, at the very least. Um, they hit super, super hard, like fully stacked up, fully built up, these guys are just doing ridiculous amounts of damage. And then on top of that, they're getting 
the, uh, I mean, good amount of defense. They're raising defense on the 12 and 18 key super still. They're guarding all attacks for three turns, which allows them time to build up this portion of their passive for taking uh, hits, right? And basically, you're getting guard for two appearances. And in those two appearances, you should be able to max out this attack and defense at the bottom here because all you need to take is four attacks, right? So after four attacks taken, they're fully built up. And then by that time, you'll have performed a few supers. So they got this defense going too. And they're actually quite solid defensively. Um, they're not like amazing by any means, but they have good defense, really, really, really high attack. And overall, just a uh, amazing EZA, you know? They've always been one of my favorite units in the game because of just the characters, because of the art. I think uh, even to this day, considering they came out in 2017, it's impressive that they still have one of the best arts in the entire game, no question, right? So uh, yeah, super hyped for this EZA. I cannot wait for it, but uh, that's enough on them. Let's move on to the... Um, other LR EZA that's still quite good, just kind of being uh, outshined by the Rose and Zamasu, right? And that is, of course, the Trunks and Mai. So, uh, once again, release date is December 21st, 2022, same time as the Rose and Zamasu. The weakness um, or the effective link is Legendary Power, the effective category is Worldwide Chaos. And then we have the stages where you, uh, you know, start by fighting Trunks, and then it's Trunks again, the TUR one, and then eventually Trunks and Mai after level uh, 7, or, you know, from level 7 onward. You're getting 3 stones per clear, you're getting some STR orbs, you're getting the medals, of course, and then you're also getting some uh, STR Grand Kai's on top of that. So once you clear all 30 levels, you're looking at 45 uh, Awakening medals, 5 STR Grand Kai's, and then 30 Dragon Stones and enough STR orbs to rainbow an STR unit. And then if you clear level seven, you get three stones on top of that. So 33 stones, that's 66 stones for both of these Extreme Z battle events. Dropping tomorrow, which is at least a multi on whichever banner you want. Maybe the uh, Christmas banner, maybe you want to save that for, actually, you know what? Save those stones, save those stones for the upcoming Gohan and Piccolo, because we know they're dropping soon, right? In like a week, basically. So don't summon on anything right now. Just save these stones you get from these Extreme Z battle events. So now let's see what these guys do. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, their leader skill was Time Travelers, Category Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Super STR Types Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. 12 key Super causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, an 18 key super causes mega colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Passive attack plus 70%, attack and defense plus 10%, up to 70% per time travelers. Category ally on the team, Q plus 6, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when there is a future saga category enemy. So, um, honestly, they weren't like terrible before the EZA. They're, I would argue, like still somewhat usable. Uh, you know, prior to getting the Extreme Z Awakening, but um, nothing that impressive, right? Like, they had some good utility on Super Battle Road with the stuns, and also the, you know, evasion sometimes you're facing, if you're facing a Future Saga enemy, but that's a little bit situational, of course. So, uh, I mainly used them as a stunner for Super Battle Road, for Extreme Super Battle Road, but their defense wasn't really good enough to, like, consistently depend on them because if they took a super they were gonna take a lot of damage right so even though the stuns were very useful the defense was not really there now with the extreme z awakening new leader skill time travelers keep plus four hp attack and defense plus 150 percent or super str types keep plus four hp attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy and then the 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So the stun chance is identical, but what I really like, of course, is the fact that they're greatly raising defense on both the 18 and the 12 key supers. So if you get an additional super, then you're raising that twice, right? So a lot of defense right there potentially. 
And then passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus one plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 140% per time traveler's category ally on the team. Super class allies, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional key plus six and high chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks when there is a future saga category enemy. So um, basically they just got bigger buffs, right? Uh, instead of, you know, up to 100 and, sorry, instead of up to 70% for, you know, having time travelers on the team, it's now up to 140% with a full time travelers team. And then on top of that, you're getting 70% more defense here. You're getting the support for super class allies, which is always nice. And then you're getting uh, additional key too, which makes it easier to get their 18 key super off because before they weren't really... Uh, oh, never mind. Hold on. I guess I must have missed the key part. No, so they did get key before. My mistake. So they're getting the key still, and uh, they're also getting the high chance to dodge from before. So that stays the same. Um, okay, yeah, so the last part didn't change. I don't know why I thought the last part of their passive was different. Looks like it's actually identical. So. Mostly, they're just getting more buffs on their passive, right? But still very reliant on being on a full time traveler's team. That's, uh, you know, hasn't changed. If you run them on a non time traveler's team, like for example, you run like, I know, Battle of Wits or something like that, where there's no other time traveler's category allies on the team, then they're gonna be pretty bad. Okay, because they're missing out on a massive, massive part of their passive. Not to say they're unusable, of course, they're definitely still usable, it's just they're going to be much, much weaker than they're supposed to be, right? So, essentially, if you want to run them, um, Time Travelers is kind of your only choice for the most part. And uh, on a Time Travelers team, they're really good, actually. They're really, really good, really, really solid, good defense, good damage output. Um, some utility with the stuns, of course, on like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road is always useful. Uh, not as useful on, you know, like uh, Legendary Goku event or Red Zone or other events where you can't stun the enemy. That's always going to be an issue with uh, the status effects like that. But um, as a whole, I think these guys are actually quite good, probably pretty underrated just because of the timing of their release when siding with the Rose and Zamasu. But um i'm pretty happy with it man honestly like could they have been better maybe yeah they could have been probably a little bit better especially uh, maybe less dependent on being time travelers they could have maybe added another category on top of that to allow them to you know have more versatility but uh outside of that i think it's a very good extremes awakening just not as good just not as good as these guys right here but uh, yeah, that is the video, guys. Those are the two LR Extremes Awakenings we're getting at the same time on Global, once again, in less than 12 hours from now. So uh, hopefully, you know, you guys are hyped, and uh, hopefully you guys learned something from watching, the from watching this video. And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like, the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>